you know, these days you see so many natural tulips around you. I wish I could be one of them. Maybe a red one, the color of happiness and love. But love, is it really happy for everyone? Ah, that reminds me, my story. So, everything began with a wrong connection on my telephone in Bangladesh. It was a winter morning, 2005. My husband and children were out. I was resting in my bed. The telephone rang on my bedside table. I picked up the receiver and sleepily said, hello. Daisy, darling, listen, came a man's voice from the other end. Excuse me, I am not Daisy, I am Tulip. Take your number, please. <laughs> I broke in, repeating my own number. Oh, always dialing wrong numbers. People shout, you didn't, came from the other end. Oh, that's okay, we all make mistakes. Then we started talking about this and that, until he casually mentioned that he was a writer. <gasps> you are a writer. I write too. I was excited. And that opened the floodgates. We talked for over an hour about reading, writing, music, what not, and eagerly waited to talk again the next day. Around the same time, next day, prung, prung goes the phone, that one single ringtone we have, that's unique. <gasps> it's him from yesterday. And the floodgates of yesterday turned into oceans. And his voice and his words, they were like music and poetry. He even sang my favorite song for me. I thought, how different from my husband. <laughs> In 20 years of my arranged marriage, whom I met on the night of my wedding, and who despises my storybooks and my writing. But this man, it seems, we are one spirit in two bodies. So, day three, day four, one week, we go on talking every day. Until one day, just before putting the phone down, he says, Oh, Tulip, I love you. <gasps> Whoops. From a stranger, and those magic words. My husband, he always tells me, we are already married. Why these foolish words? There is no need. <laughs> but this man, he has conquered my heart and my dreams. So we have to meet someday. On the day of our meeting, I stood in front of the door of the Chinese restaurant, wondering, shall I go in or turn back? But the power of love never gotten was too strong, so I stepped in. Down the hall I walked, the left-hand side last room he had said he would be. I stood in the doorway, blue shirt, white sweater, glasses, that's him. I was in my pink sari. As I entered, he looked up. Our eyes met. It was love at first sight. Shook our hands in the touch. Feelings in ignited I have never known before. We ordered something, we ate, but heart wasn't in the food at all. Time flew, it was time to go home. And we were planning on the next meeting when another family came and settled down on the left-hand table. Two small children, I looked at them. Suddenly I thought, oh, what am I doing? My children, they're crying. Ma, ma. I looked at the man across my table and said, I can do this. I can't ruin my children and my family. He stared at me and then said, I understand but we'll remain friends and write our love story. 
love once born is never dies. Yes, love came to me, but it wasn't blind at all. Thank you.